The cold wind on the outskirts of our parish stung my face, almost as much as my guilt. If I wanted to help the people I cared about, others would suffer. There wasn't enough to go around. Not enough papers, not enough medicine, not enough time. And the soldiers, with their desperation and anger, only made things worse. Would someone always have to get hurt along the way? It was hardly a surprise that some invading soldiers were injured by defiant Danes, but at least they were thick-headed enough to take the blows. The Resistance is keeping Heinrich captive here. The boy's a bit of a sleuth. He might know something about the factory. Reinhard is lurking around the market. If I help him with his schemes, he might be more helpful when I try to break into the factory. My father is friends with some of the guards at the factory. I could try to persuade him to tell me about their routines.
My father had been an honest and hardworking man, but fate did not smile on his ambitions. In spite of the love and support from my mother and I, something in him was not satisfied. When the Nazis came, promising German pride, purpose and heritage, he readily joined his relatives to sing their praises, but it cost him more than he realised. Our family fractured. I wasn't sure I could trust him. I wanted so badly to tell him everything that was happening, to have him comfort me. To free Anders, I need to help either the Resistance or Reinhardt break into the factory and acquire munitions. But who would be my best ally? There's something up ahead. Thank you. 
It was strange to see the factory at night. So quiet and with a fresh wound still marring the brickwork. It was even stranger to find so many tools of destruction in this place that had been meant to build things. The explosives were a valuable asset, one that could help liberate Anders from his captors. But they would also cause harm. How much destruction was justified to save one man? My desire to save Anders was blinding me to all the people getting hurt along the way. Would they haunt me when this was over? The streets are crowded with patrols. I told the others to bring the munitions here. We must hide until things quiet down.
We scurried through the night, avoiding German patrols, and found refuge inside the church. It was strange to find myself in that place with these particular companions. For all of their fighting prowess, they were just as vulnerable as me in this moment, shivering against the cold stone of our sanctuary. I could barely imagine how the countless refugees in this war had made do night after night. Sometimes in life, we are lucky enough to get to choose our traveling companions. I hoped I had hitched my wagon to the right star. Peter will be busy preparing for tonight's mission. I'm sure he wishes to save Anders, but perhaps I need to make sure that we're on the same page. Thank you. 